Hello lovelies, welcome to your August readings um, on this beautiful day um, at the beginning of July. It's Lorian here and I'm just going to be bringing you these readings for each sign. You can check out your rising, your sun and your moon sign if necessary or if you feel like it. Um, the good news is that my noisy neighbours, my very noisy neighbours, have actually gone on holiday now for a week. So I'm able to bring you these videos very early um, because it's all nice and peace and quiet and I don't have to do this in spits and spots. So that's wonderful for me. Hopefully it's going to give you enough time to prepare for August as well. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, my email's below. I would love to hear from you. And as always, your subscriptions, your comments, your likes, everything that you interact with with regards to me on my Facebook page and my Twitter it's very appreciated the response has surpassed anything that I intended when I actually brought out this channel so I just want to thank you all I am sorry that again I don't have a video camera things keep cropping up regarding bills and things so I do apologize for that but so long as the message is getting out there and so long as the readings are still resonating with people I am going to continue to do it this way at least until I'm able to get a better webcam at least which is actually able to fine tune and fine focus the actual footage of the cards so thank you for your patience with me thank you for sticking with me and listening to my guidance every month and I do hope that August is very good for your sign, whichever you are. Hello lovely Pisces, thank you for tuning into your August reading for 2015. We have the four cards at the top of the spread as normal, representing approximately the four weeks of August. With one card about a week of energy, they do sometimes bleed into each other sometimes. Um, also we have the oracle card at the bottom representing the overall message or the overall feeling for the month. Now this is quite interesting actually because even this yin and yang card, um, this actually, I, I mentioned in my Aries reading just now that there was a yin yang energy to the start of the month and it's quite strange I feel that this has come out just after to kind of show that you are going to be along the same path in a way as Aries which is strange I understand because you're kind of water and fire but it's almost like everybody is still in connected, interconnected here so let's go to the first card with the king of wands now sometimes this can signify a financial windfall but I think that it will normally represent an association with the masculine authority figure, a leader or a liberator or an arbitrator or, you know, that kind of thing. I think you may be solving a dispute um, in many ways. Um, somebody may be seeking you as a mediator of certain issues, but I think this is also a mediator of the balance within yourself. So it could be that you're feeling a much more masculine energy than normal, and it could also be that you are feeling a slight unease at this sudden wave of masculine strong energy for the things that you have to deal with. I think you will find yourself aided in many ways by people that may come through to surprise you and I think you need to be open to the advice of that advice basically um, with more experience. You know people have more experience in certain situations but I do feel like you are going to succeed if you gain this help promoting ideas and promoting inspiration you know for others around you because it's almost like you will get this week what you put out there but there is a kind of sense that you're fired up it's almost a determined confident figure um there's an expansion of some kind here there's an establishment of something within your professional life i do see the financial gain coming through but in essence, he is a very positive card. And sometimes, yes, can be quite boisterous, quite playful, quite um, over the top, I would say sometimes. But in all, I do feel that this is a very good omen to have. Because certainly in the second week, it's kind of the lasting powerful contentment. It's a wish. It's... I mean, nothing is permanent, but somewhere in the second week, you can expect to be truly happy. It's very tied to creative, 
to a creative endeavour. If you have wishes for the future, may you, you may see the sign that this is actually possible and it's going to happen. I think your emotional and even material well-being are involved in this. And again, it says that your friends may be offering advice and support and enjoying this kind of turn of events for you, this fulfilment that you're having. But I think the goal that you will set yourself is still down the road away. It's a little bit further than you may have thought, but you see a glimmer of it now. You see the light of the end of that tunnel or the end of that road. If you stay true to your desires, you will reach that destination. And I think you need to balance yourself, again, the balance, the yin and yang, with, with your heart and mind to find this true calling because this is a very emotional card. And I think the first two cards here, I don't think this is a, as... Um, yeah, I'm not sure that this is a reading which is all for weeks of energy. This seems to be more like a warning... The second half, the second two cards show a warning of, of a potential. If you don't manage to get the balance within the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands are going to come up for you. And while they're not entirely um, negative, they are still kind of bittersweet. Because there are struggles ahead and the capacity is within you to overcome them. But at the same time, they don't want you to feel burdened. They don't want you to have to feel like you're struggling and dragging the rock behind you they want you to feel lifted and while there is still some hard work even without these two cards you know coming through here the more balance you gain the easier the last two weeks of august are going to be there in there are inevitable conflicts approaching in the future but you will overcome them in order to succeed i do think that you need to rely on your inner strength but that doesn't mean sacrificing your values for the sake of that short-term gain. So it's almost like you do have courage and you do have determination under this fire. But it's almost kind of like, don't go backwards. Don't don't go backwards. <laughs> Just keep moving forwards because the more weight you carry on yourself, the more burdens you take on from other people, from your wishes, from the expectations that you have of yourself, the pressures that you've put on yourself... You're going to get yourself in an excessive workload here. You're going to have a result, you know, that isn't something that you want. And the pressure of achieving your goals and achieving your dreams may seem, you know, not worth it anymore. And that's not what you need to have. Bear down, I think the thing should say. I think it's the most, most likely to be focusing your energy in one direction, consolidating your efforts... There's, st there's still, there is a chance to achieve your desires, but you must first reach these goals, which is still a long way down the road. And the yin and yang card is beautiful here. It's almost like you're preparing to achieve this. It's, it's like, kind of like you are moving forwards in a way that nobody expected. And to be honest with you, it does show that you have the tenacity and the pluck in order to get forwards here. There is a negative connotation to the last two weeks if you don't get your balance. But the yin and yang is just saying that everything that's bad is have to be balanced by the good. Everything that's good has to be balanced by the not so good. And it's kind of like the balance within yourself too. Know when you have to take a step back for yourself. Know when you have to keep going. Know when something is no longer working for you and know when you have to carry on, even though it may be incredibly difficult. Because I feel, because Saturn is coming into Sagittarius in September, September is a very heavy month. September is a very big month, actually, um, because a few people um, are going to start to experience their Saturn return. And this is the first time for them um, when Saturn comes back around into the same position that it was in their natal chart, it's going to start off a whole load of events for the next two years and karma is going to come right through and they're going to be faced with a lot of challenges in that department because Saturn's a disciplinarian. But it doesn't only affect the Saturn returns, it affects everybody because the way Saturn moves presents us with different challenges in every single sign. So it's almost like August... While it is currently retrograding in Scorpio, 
um, we do kind of have to tidy up in the Scorpio house. You know, you have to tidy up with the gods of Saturn and whatever that represents to you. And then, now when August is done and you've got everything in line, you can move on into September. Um, possibly with a bit more insight as to what needs to be done. But this is a very strong month for you. Other people, it seems, other signs, sorry, seems to be a bit quiet on that front. But this time, there are lots of activity, there's lots of ideas flowing, and I do feel you are going to get a direction in this month. This is not specific to work, this is not specific to relationships, personal goals, um, you know, for instance, I need to buy a house. This isn't specific, it's the energies that surround you, it's the energies that you need to take a hand a hand of um, in order to achieve whatever you need. So if you do want to write a book, if you do want to move house, the energies are there for you so long as you're able to balance them. And I think this is a challenge that encompasses every single subject, so it can apply to anybody. Um, if you do have specific experiences of this it would be fascinating to know exactly what happens for you and if you would like me to look into any questions that you have in more detail or do a personal reading for you just get in contact with me at my email below we can arrange something together or if you prefer just to have an Etsy reading purchase something on there that's already detailed for you so that I can then take those questions and kind of carry on then do have a look at them and I'll be in touch as soon as possible with your completed reading. Um, but in the meantime, I do hope that you have the best of energies in August and do take care.